All right, good morning, everybody. So today we're starting the rebuild and remodel of our six by 10 cargo trailer. So stay tuned. All right, so you can see that we have completely gutted our six by 10 cargo trailer. Uh, we're not taking down the walls. We didn't have, have to put up a little bit of new paneling, but we've already insulated uh, the walls. The ceiling's already insulated with the exception of the front part up there, but that'll be a little bit later. Uh, today, we're gonna be working on getting our bed put in here, which is going to be mounted to the wall, supported underneath, and we're gonna have a, a chest of drawers here. Like I mentioned before, the biggest issue we had with our cargo trailer design the last time was we had to take the bed up and down every day. So instead, this time what we're gonna do is we have this chest of drawers we got from Ikea. It's centered over the rear axle. Um, that's gonna, going to provide us with a lot of storage and we're gonna build the bed on top of the drawer. It won't be sitting on the drawers, but it will be positioned above them. So it will be in position all the time so we don't have to continually go back and forth with it. All right, I'm sure you can see back here that we have a different color uh, paneling as opposed to what we had before. We were looking for the same paneling, but haven't been able to find it. So we went ahead and went with something very similar, a little bit lighter, uh, I'm sorry, a little bit darker, but it's gonna be positioned over our bed and we have some plans on some stuff we're gonna do here with the wall, so it's not gonna be seen much. So it, it's not a big issue for us. Um, so what we've done to this point is we have the uh, dresser drawers in here. We put the supports in for the uh, piece of plywood that's gonna be our, our bed. Uh, we're making sure everything's level. One thing we did before we really started, we made sure the, the trailer was level. So you always wanna make sure you're doing that whenever you're doing stuff inside, because it may look like it's straight, but then once you get it moving, you realize it wasn't straight at all. So we did make sure all this was level before we put it in. Uh, like I said, I have these supports here. I'm gonna put some supports on top of the dress, dresser drawers just to make, it even, make sure it's evenly spaced and, and weights distributed equally. Uh, I don't want all the weight on the two by fours that are attached to the wall. That's why I'm putting some supports in the middle uh, down to the floor because I don't want, like I said, I don't want all the weight on the piece of plywood that's up. Um, so it, the weight for the whole bed will be spread out throughout this entire support structure. All right, so there's the support structure. That's gonna hold up the uh, piece of plywood that will be the actual bottom of the bed. Um, we got a half inch piece of plywood. All right, so we got these cabinets from Lowe's. We're gonna put them in the back of the cargo trailer underneath our bed. Um, it's gonna be a multi-use type cabinet. Um, underneath, there's a gap of about three quarter inch to an inch. And so I'm putting these down here so I can attach this, so I can have adequate support underneath them. So once those are screwed in, now I can screw this in um, I'm going to put a piece of two by four on this one and that's going to raise it so I can attach the next one on top of it all right like I said on the top of this you have a little bit of a gap so I put some two by fours in here to fill that gap and to fill part of the gap underneath this one so now that I'm putting these in place it's just like a almost like a Lego set it sits right on top I am going to screw it into the one beneath but now it's not going to move at all. Okay, so as you can tell, I've got all of this painted. I got the cabinets painted. I did the uh, bed frame. Now I wanted to show you back here behind the cabinets, there is a lot of extra space. And I'm going to use that for some storage. Uh, I'm going to put like some little crates and put some storage of things that we may not use all the time. And of course, then I'll have plenty of storage in here now i did not paint the inside of the cabinets because i like the unfinished look but i have lots of storage okay like we were saying we already insulated the cargo trailer uh here's a few videos from when we did our initial build uh you'll see that we did take all the walls out put uh the insulation in um we wanted to make sure we did that to ensure we were somewhat warm uh as we traveled out west we installed adequate insulation in the walls and the ceiling, and we didn't have too many issues, though we did use a propane Mr. Buddy on a regular basis if it was too cold. We're leaving our cedar plank ceiling in place because we like the way it looks, 
It was easy to install and it held up very well. One thing I encourage with a cargo trailer build is to do at least a rough plan of what you want to do. As you build, you'll probably have new ideas, but at least have a basic plan to start off with. One of the things we're getting rid of is the desk in the front V of the trailer. I had plans to write a book, draw, and do lots of work there, but it ended up being a place where we kept extra junk, so it's gone. Our shower worked out great, but it took up a lot of floor space. By eliminating the desk in the front V, that now makes a great space for the shower, so we'll show that part of the build in an upcoming video. We also decided to minimize our cooking space. On the next trip, we'll keep our fold-down table on the door, but we'll use a smaller one burner instead. If you're putting in a window, take your time. This was the only place we cut into the aluminum, so you don't want to make any mistakes there. Make sure you weatherproof the hole where the window will go to avoid issues later. Our new layout allows for plenty of storage in the back of the cargo trailer. Behind the cabinets, we'll keep extra water and other necessities. All right, so to recap, we got the uh, cabinet in here. I didn't want to drill into the cabinet, so I put some two by fours underneath to give it support and make sure it was level. There's gonna be some weight on this drawer, but it's not gonna be a lot because I have it distributed throughout the entire build here. Um, so we, like I said, we got a, a good size cabinet here from Ikea. We got a little metal cabinet from Ikea. It gives us a lot of storage space underneath. We can have uh, some towels tucked up underneath here, maybe a pillow. I think one of the things we're gonna try to do is get some type of either pull out or fold out little table uh, where we can sit and eat like or stuff like that um, but I'm happy with the way this turned out um, there, uh, we did I did lay on it for a little bit it supported me easily all right and here's the back there's cupcake I think we did a great job yeah we're both pretty burnt out at the yeah. moment um, we got these cabinets um, put them down there it works great that way we can, we're gonna have plenty of storage in the back we have them uh, stabilized and secure, so they're not gonna move at all. We still have some room behind them, um, probably for water. We're gonna put the uh, ice chest here. The uh, generator is gonna go right there. And again, we still have plenty of room underneath. Uh, we've tried out the bed, the support system, it's all good. Now, I get to put my finishing touches on it and get to decorate everything. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you like to subscribe and follow us on our adventures, please do so. If you have any comments or suggestions for me, let me know and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.